Howdy folks, Nathan Adlin here, doing a very special Super Ike Gauntlet with my buddy, Andre Smirnoff. And what's behind us? It's the 2017 Honda Ridgeline RTL E, and it's fully loaded for a Super Ike Gauntlet. That's right, we are using maximum load to go up the Ike Gauntlet. This is different than the regular Ike Gauntlet, because unlike those, we're only comparing the truck to itself under maximum load, and we are gonna be pushing it hard. Let's go and check it out. Two hundred and eighty horsepower, two hundred and sixty-two pound-feet of torque, coming through a three-point-five-liter V6 from Earth Dreams. Yes, this engine is actually also situated inside the Honda Pilot, and the transmission—it's a six-speed. This has all-wheel drive and combined MPG, twenty-one miles per gallon, which is actually pretty good. Now, CM Trailers is a partner of ours, and this is a fourteen-foot stalker trailer, and it's primarily used for horses or livestock. But we're going to be using this trailer for all of our mid-size truck testing as well as SUV and crossovers. This trailer for this run with the Ridgeline is loaded at approximately 4,800 pounds, just below that. Because we have Nathan and I in the truck and Honda is very specific about their towing ratings. This Ridgeline has been provided by a friend, Robert. Yeah, so thanks, Robert, Robert. Robert, thank you for providing us your truck, your personal truck for this uh, Super High Gauntlet. Today we're using our adjustable Genie hitch and we're not using a weight distributing attachment because we're under 5,000 pounds on our trailer. The truck and trailer are really level. The Ridgeline is quite at about an inch and a half, which is not bad. And the Ridgeline has an aftermarket brake controller which will help a lot on the way down. Nice dude, so we're starting the downhill portion of the Super Eye Gauntlet and the Ridgeline. I'm really excited about this. Yeah, you know what, so far so good. But right now it's all about braking on the downhill, right? right. 60 miles an hour, down and up. Um, obviously, Super Eye is all about maxing out the truck. You know, this is not a regular Eye Gauntlet testing that we do for the Gold Hitch Awards. Look what I have here. I have the manual that's a, and that's huge. It's, it's huge, but it's always good to actually check your manual when towing. You know, people say, oh, I never look at the manual, right? When, when but, you tow, you really should. But, it's... and Hunter is being very specific. So if I turn to page four, 404, which is where the towing, most of the towing information is, um, the maximum rating for the truck depends on the passengers and the weight in it because yeah. it also has to do with payload and gross combined weight. So what do you think Honda estimates the weight of a person? Can you, you know? Oh, 175 pounds. 150 pounds per person. 150 pounds per person. But last time I checked on the scales, <laughs> I was a bit over that. I'm slightly over that too, man. That, that's, for average Americans, these vehicles were built specifically for North America. Uh, 150 pounds a little on the light side. So, we have to go with what Honda specifies. All right. The six-speed automatic transmission did not provide much help on the way down with grade shifting, but because of the aftermarket brake controller and really beefy brakes on the truck and trailer, we came down the mountain with no problem. So, at these lights, let's go around 35 miles an hour and get ready to reset the trip meter now. Perfect. Are you right hammering on. down? Good, let's hammer down. The whole point of the test is to go up the mountain as fast as possible within the speed limit. A lot of the trucks that are maxed out cannot maintain the speed limit. But yeah. you already got there, right? Yeah, and in fact, I'm letting, I have to let off, I'm, I yeah. keep going over. I'm it's almost sure. like you could set the cruise control and see if that even works. We could do that. Should we give it a shot? Yeah, let's try it. Let's set it at 60. So, obviously we tested other mid-sized trucks, but that was for the Gold Hitch Awards. This is a Super Eye Gauntlet, which is a unique test, where we get the freedom to try different things, like cruise control, 
uh, different braking, you know, to going down the hill using manual control, shifting if we need manual it. Manual shifting if we need it. <clears throat> because the whole point of this isn't apples to apples. The whole point of it is just the chest, the truck, and its maximum capacity. Right now we are pushing maximum capacity, and so far the Honda hasn't even blinked. Now I know you've seen it before, but this is not a conventional tailgate. Yes, it goes down in the regular way, but it also opens outward like a car door, so you get two in one. Inside the bed, there's a large cavity, which is basically a trunk within the bed, and it's large enough to hold some golf clubs or a giant cooler, or Paul, our racing driver, could probably live in there. It's a very wide bed, and it goes to what looks like a Honda Pilot truck. From the front, it looks a lot like the Honda Pilot, but then from back here, a truck. Now you'll notice there's a line between the cab and the bed. That line, well, it's just a line. There's no actual physical division between the cab and the bed. Yeah, so, so far so very good. The, the truck Here we um, go. accelerated to speed limit pretty quickly. It can maintain the speed limit. And now you dropped a little bit due to traffic. Maybe I dropped down to 50 miles per hour because that guy's driving like a slug, but I'm getting back up to 60. Well, I have my foot all the way down. It's at 58. Okay. All right, well, this so is a great test. I mean, the incline is starting really to get steeper. 7% grade on this highway. This is I-70 East going up all the way to Eisenhower Tunnel, the Continental Divide. Got it to 60 again. There you go. Yeah, this is, this is good power. But um, now you're floored. I am, I am all the way, yeah, yeah, wide open throttle. Um, but it's 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 cruising at about uh, 4,500 RPM. It's pretty happy. It hasn't downshifted. Okay. I have no we have issue. More with trucks. It. Yeah, I got a lot more trucks. So look at that. He's taking up two lanes. Okay. Oh boy. There we go. Once again, another momentum killer. Okay, that's about. Let me look at the time. Uh, now we gotta get behind this van. Okay. Now we're down to 40 miles per hour. So we're gonna try to get up to speed. That was about um, 20 seconds slow down. <laughs> Are you speaking Italian? I didn't say a word in anything. Okay. Dude, it's accelerating well. We're back it's at 55. It's going almost to 6,000 RPM. 56. Okay. I think we're going to hit 60 again. I'm impressed. <laughs> For maxed out weight, for this V6 and the six-speed automatic transmission is handling really well. Currently, it's running at 6.4 miles per gallon with uh, average fuel economy. That's one of our best results, but, but we can't compare. We can't once compare. again. You cannot compare because the other vehicles are towing a heavier load. Heavier load. loads and different trailer profiles. Completely I different mean, vehicles. I mean, this CM trailer uh, that we have here is fairly aerodynamic. It's smoothed out. It's on the very front. smoothed out on the front, so there's uh, there's less wind resistance pushing through it. It's also a very new trailer, um, and we've noticed earlier okay. that it's starting to drop off. Now this is the highest part. It's so the highest part, 56. and also this one of the steepest parts. Yep. But we're almost there, we're almost at the light. And we're almost at eight minutes. I'm, wow. a, I'm really impressed. So far, so good. Yeah, bigger mirrors, and uh, yeah, then I would stop complaining. What's that smiling mean? Okay, uh, ready for the MPG? Yep. And I'm gonna stop the cam, uh, the timer now. Okay. okay. Eight minutes and 16 seconds. Average shield economy, 6.4 miles per gallon according to this computer which is really good. Eight minutes, 16. And we had two slowdowns. Yeah, one all the way down to 40. So, I mean, if we were to account for the slowdown, this would be an eight minute truck all day long. Better than expected. The ridgeline really impressed me. Okay, eight minutes, 16 seconds on the way up. Despite the traffic. 6.4 MPGs? Despite the traffic. Wow. I mean, it was comfortable and the ride was pretty good. Yep, acceleration was quite good. It was able to get back up to maximum speed both times after we slowed down. And there's no trailer sway. I mean, the truck and trailer were moving straight and narrow. That's right. The bottom line is that the vehicle, even though it's not primarily made as a tow vehicle, did very well as a tow vehicle. It would be nice if they added a standard brake controller. Yeah, it is pre-wired, so you can put one in, 
but we would like one standard. Also, larger mirrors would be awesome. We'll have a lot more Super Eye Gauntlet and regular Eye Gauntlet for the 2017 Gold Hitch Award coming up very soon. And go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real world reviews. See ya. Kent, what are we doing here at midnight at the bottom of our eye gauntlet? Well, we have a 2017 Super Duty F450 Platinum. But we're towing 30,000 pounds. And this is the Super Eye Gauntlet, but it's more than that. Yeah. It's the ultimate midnight Super Eye Gauntlet. Yes, all that and a bag of chips. That is so cool. I mean, this, this is what you want for the Super Eye. We're at maximum trailer capacity, maximum payload on this new 2017 F450. So we're doing what the Super Ike was meant to do. Absolutely, and this is an exclusive. We're the first ones to do this. Yeah. Towing on this grade. Yeah.